I'm backstage at Celebration Europe here in Essen, Germany, and I've just spent an evening with the Emperor, aka Mr. Ian McDermott. Mm. Welcome, Ian. Hi, Warwick. Nice Thank to be you here. Very much. Yeah, we've had a, had a great show out there. The audience yeah, were, they were great. I mean, you've got a lot of fans here. Yes, many people and very responsive, and we had a, had a few laughs. And, Absolutely. Uh, you quizzed me, and I got many questions wrong. But, uh, <laughs> I'm a very old Emperor. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's amazing, isn't it, how popular villains are? You know, they're yeah. always the characters yeah, I think that people seem to. It's always been the case, hasn't it? And, mm. they're, and they're exciting to play. Have you played a few? I played a few villains, and indeed, you seem to get the most response from people. Yeah. When yeah. you played a, a baddie in Yes, film. people are really fascinated by the dark side. Mm. I suppose it's because they don't feel they have to go there if, if the rest of us are doing it for them. No, absolutely. Now, we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Return of the Jedi this mm -hmm. year, yeah. uh, a film that you featured in, obviously. Um, talk a little bit about the character and the creation of the character, because that's the first time. You, you played him? Yes, it came out of the blue. Um, I saw George one lunchtime and when I got home I heard that I got the part but I didn't know what the part was because it was very secretive in those days. Uh, and then my agent said he's called the Emperor of the Universe. So I was sitting down at the time so that was okay. And then I went in and they covered me in latex and prosthetics and this monster appeared in the mirror. And, uh, and when I saw him I thought he had borne no relation to me but looked fantastic. And I thought he looked like an old toad, and so he should maybe sound like one. And that's where the voice came the from. The voice came from the look. Yeah, that's how and it And then, of course, the started. iconic laugh as well. Yes, yes, the <laughs> all of that. I've, I've just been doing it on stage, so I won't do it too much for no, you guys. We'd love to hear a bit, would, I'm sure. Would you? All right. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> There are many variations. It's amazing. Of it. It's, it's amazing. A sort of a symphony, really. Yeah, I mean, it is so iconic. When you hear it, you just can't help but think mm. of of the emperor. Now, also in Return of the Jedi were Ewoks. Yes. Now, yes. Uh, who do you think would win in a fight between Wicket and the Emperor? Uh, what do you think would go on yes, there? Yes. Well, um, I suppose I have to say that Wicket had particular skills, given the res the end result that we all know happened in the film. Mm. But um, I, I would have thought that actually they'd sit down and have a chat. You know, probably the Emperor on a sofa and maybe Wicket on a comfortable chair like this. Try and negotiate. And he would try and negotiate a before you got the lightning kind, out. Before I killed you. Yeah, yeah. indeed, because yeah. that is your your force. It is. Majority, and isn't in it? As you know, um, somebody else got to use it in uh, Attack of the Clones, and that was Christopher Lee. And I didn't know that till I went to see the film, and I was rather jealous of it. Yeah, he's got lightning as well. But that's right. Christopher said, oh, yes, no, I would always have it. So, <laughs> and you always would. <laughs> and how do you feel being part of the Star Wars films? What does that uh, mean to well, you? Well, it was extraordinary then, as I say, on that first day when I met George. And it's still extraordinary. What's most extraordinary was that I was able to be in the prequels as well as the initial films because my age worked out. And as originally they cast somebody who was closer to the aging Palpatine than I was, um, that wouldn't have worked out. I would have had to be in a different actor. So I was, I was lucky twice. Indeed you were. And we're glad you were, you were lucky twice because you've, you've played a brilliant, brilliant emperor uh, and Palpatine. Well, I'm really glad too. It's been a, a very big thing in my life. Absolute pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much. And you Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.